Hey guys, Paul Geddes here, Lawrence Pro, with a, uh, another Lawrence Tips and Tricks for you. Um, what we're going to talk about this week is we're going to talk about Insight Genesis, the new C map, the uh, one foot contours, um, how you can actually download social maps that's actually been mapped, uh, have one foot contours, uh, and gives you a lot of different options. Uh, 2018, there's going to be some new mapping options coming out with Lawrence. Um, so that ought to be, uh, it's going to open up a whole new world as far as mapping. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to take you step by step. Uh, you actually have to put your plotter IDs in to be able to download these maps. So I'm going to show you how to do that on my iPad. Um, once you add that, then you go in, you can select the lakes, download them. You must have a SD card that's 32 gigs or less. Uh, to put in the unit when we get ready to download the map um, you do need a internet connection uh, you can turn your phone as a hotspot uh, on your so your units can connect online and uh, other than that let me walk you through step by step how to do this okay so first step is you have to go to genesismaps.com you sign up for an account put all the information in after you do that what you're going to do is you're going to actually ask you to add a device as far as your plotters and what that's going to insist of consist of is going to be basically putting your serial number and your content ID number on the page here so it actually whenever you log in from your plotter you can actually it recognizes it and it allows you to download the map so like on my carbon 16 right here at my console which is this unit here um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually go to add device for on their plotter you're gonna come in here and go to pages and go to systems go to about now when you go to add device what it's going to do it's going to plot our name you can make that name right there anything you want so we'll say I'm I've already done this so I'm just going to walk you through it as a test um, we'll do right 16 the model you click on that scroll up Lawrence HDS carbon or whichever one you have the serial number when you actually click on the box for the serial number once you go to your about over here, your seal number is right here. The 107-539646. The other thing you'll have to put in is your content ID. That's the unique identifier that allows you to download um, the different charts. So once you get both of those in there, then you're going to hit submit. Now, once it comes back up, your unit, if everything worked properly, will be over here on the right under your list. So what that's going to do is allow you to download units, in other words, maps, new social maps that's already been mapped out to your units. So this is where it gets a little bit tricky, so hang in there with me. Um, so the next step that we need to do is we need to go in and connect our units to a Wi-Fi um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start you out so you're going to pages you're going to go to settings and go to wireless and see I'm actually already connected up here to my phone so what I'm going to disconnect and I'm going to go ahead and connect so where it says not connected we're going to go to there and it's going to scan pretty much all the wireless networks in the area now you don't have to be on your phone you, you can connect to your Wi-Fi I'm gonna connect there this is my phone I'm gonna connect it you'll see it say an established connection down here and when it actually connects it'll say connected to right here connected to hotspot Verizon that's my phone so now you can X out of that press pages again scroll up on your left hand side and go to the go free shop now, 
it's probably going to go ahead and log me in. It did. But what happens is it's going to prompt you with a email address and a login password. It's going to be the same information that you just created on the Insight Genesis um, website. So you'll put that information here and then hit submit and it will bring you up to this option here. So we're going to click on this. We're going to go to social maps. And then what we have to do is we have to select our country. And it takes a couple times to scroll up. Of course, we're going to scroll up to the U.S. So we're going to select United States. Then we're going to select the state. We're in South Carolina here. So I'm going to scroll up to South Carolina. And then we're going to select the county or district. Um, Hartwell is in Anderson, so I'm going to choose Anderson. So right now, when it pops up, these are the maps that actually have the contours already added to them. Um, now is the time that you want to put your card into the slot, 32 gigs or less. Put it into one of your card slots. And then what you want to do is you want to hit download. Now, I've already got Hartwell Lake downloaded. I've already got Broadway Lake. But I have not got Big Creek Watershed downloaded. So what you do is you hit download. And what's going to happen is it's going to pop up and say download map. So you hit download now. If everything goes well... What it's going to say is going to say map successfully queued for download. And it's downloading right here at the bottom. You see where that's going to pop up? So what that's going to do is once it downloads, it's going to copy it to that card. What's going to most likely happen is once it finishes copying, it's going to prompt you to put, ask you if you want to change maps. Um, mine usually does as it's downloading there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw another card in I'm gonna hit exit so what I'm gonna do is this is previously downloaded Hartwell you're gonna see it come up loading charts it says do you wish to change the charts data selection to the inserted charts Hartwell Lake yes you see since my units are networked it prompted over here so what I'm gonna do is select no on here so over here on my left 16 I'm actually running a Navionics plus chip and I've got these ranges right here highlighted and what that's doing is a certain depth range I have which only is very limited you can actually you know only highlight you know, in one or two colors there where if we actually go to a full page of chart over here and we zoom out and we head over let's see here we're going to head over to Lake Hartwell here and we're going to zoom in So as you can see, what we're doing is we're actually looking at the new one foot contour Insight Genesis C map for Lake Hartwell. Now, keep in mind guys that this lake is socially mapped. That means me and hundreds of other people have went out and scanned this along with Insight Genesis survey boats. Um, one of the things that you have to take into consideration when using this map is you actually have to go in and there may be like little sections and this is a prime example right here you see this little area right here I'm going to zoom in on it that's too much 
you see where there's a different contour right here this little box right here that means that that section has not been updated it's been scanned but it has not been updated so if you're ever out there you can actually scan upload they'll send it back to you and they'll update with the correct thing now there's not many places like that on here but there is a few um, the benefit that I like this with this chart more than um, anything else that I'm actually running right now as I, I love the benefit of both of them um, but here's the big deal is as you see I've got all these different colors pretty much for different ranges um, and stuff like that so what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna say if we were out fishing today and I actually found fish on say 30 foot humps so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in I'm gonna go to menu I'm gonna go to chart options we're gonna go to view and we're gonna go to shading so it gives you options of setting up different palettes so if you press depth one and then you go to custom so what I've got here is you can set your different depths over here so what I'm looking for is say we're gonna say we're gonna set this red is we're gonna set that to 30 feet at 70% opacity we're gonna change this one right here to 40 and that's a blue palette there so but what I'm gonna do is this one right here is it 60 so we're gonna change that to say 40 so it's not so red and I've got this right here six foot or less I've got it white at 40 percent so what we're gonna do and then I've got 160 120 uh, which we can change this very easily let's say we go um, 130 okay Alright, so now we've got that. So now we can exit out. And so what's going to happen is you're going to see the colors change just a little bit. You'll see them shift. So anything that is 30 foot or less. You see, I've got the opacity change there. So let's change that up a little bit. I don't like how it actually switched. So we're going to go to chart options, view, shading, and say that 30 foot. I want that to be let's say we want that to be yellow and then it's gonna filter in to that red where it goes to 15 and then white so let's see what that does it's probably gonna get real colorful here but the whole key to this is okay so as you can see and this it, this might not be this is all personal preference but so I've got a 30 foot hump here that I'm looking or a big flat there instead of a hump uh, I've got 90 foot 150 foot all the way around it and then all of a sudden we got a big flat here that's 30 foot on top down to 45 all the way around so now I'm riding down the lake and I can pretty much indicate where these flats are that's the cool benefit all of these are flat so while I'm out searching and I'm out practicing you know here's a flat here you know obviously I've caught fish off of it before because I've got five pounders mark check shoal um, so as you can see the flat that comes in here you've got a real steep drop off on the front here and then you've got this big flat here that's in 30 foot of water um, that's the benefit of having you know being able to color shade it saves so much time you can see where the channel comes in here there's a deep hole right here that comes in it's real dark it's 130 foot or more um, that's really the big key to it is being able um, you know to look at it and, and so let's what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to pull the same exact thing up on Navionics Plus for you so you can actually see so let's go over here and see if I can see where I'm at here.
bear with me guys i know this is a long video but the very first time that you do this it takes a little time but after you do that all you have to do is go in and actually search so here we are here's the same shoal that we're looking at right here all right so i'm going to zoom in okay so as you can see you see check shoal and five pounders check shoal and five pounders see the difference here so what we can do on navionics plus which is the same thing chart options view we scroll up and go to fishing range now i've got that set to 20 so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change that I'm going to change that to 30. So now you see the difference in what we're looking at here. I've got the same thing, but I can compare two different maps and see what's going on. But the benefit of Insight Genesis is being able to color code all of these different colors and make it whatever color you would like with the latest and greatest info. Um, that in itself is a game changer for me so guys the big the big deal here i know this was a long video but i get a lot of questions um everybody wants to know how do i change this map and how am i finding these different spots that nobody's finding this was a real simple one this was real easy to find but on these other maps this newer maps like when i fished chickamauga this year there was places that me and michael neal found He's lived there all his life, and he's still, you know, finding places with this new Insight Genesis map that was never, you know, never he found before because this was the latest and greatest info. Um, these maps are available right now, and you can actually um, download the social maps. You can actually buy the Pro maps, the CMAP Pros, and the CMAP uh, HD maps right now. Uh, InsightGenesis.com, and uh, and then we can we can go from there. If you guys have any questions, um, the new website is up, TacticalSonar.com. Uh, Facebook, me, Paul Gettys, Paul Gettys Fishing. Um, Lawrence.com is basically going to have all the latest and greatest stuff uh, with the new maps coming out. The new units will be shipping soon with the new maps, and it's going to be different options that you can buy. Um, but if, uh, if you have any questions or need any help at all, um, I'm here to help. I appreciate you watching, guys. Subscribe to us on YouTube at Paul Gettys Fishing. And thanks again.